Okay, guys, I just want to talk about an issue that I encountered quite frequently last year, and that was where students were being asked to submit a photograph of their written work to the Google Classroom. Um, and students were struggling when they were using a computer or a laptop, and they weren't quite sure about how to submit that photograph to the Google Classroom. So I just want to talk about a solution to that today, um, and hopefully we'll resolve that issue for the year ahead. So I've taken an example here of a class, and this is a sixth year class, which are expected to upload a, a photograph of their written work and their copy uh, as evidence of revision to me as their teacher. Okay, the topic that they're doing here is plants. Uh, the deadline has been set, and I've also checked to make sure that they're not copying, i.e. plagiarism. Okay, so I'm going to click save that assignment. I'm going to click the stream, and I'm then going to swap over now to the uh, student account. Okay, so here we can see uh, the work that was done by the students. So they were being asked to uh, work on a, a diagram here, a label diagram of a flowering plant. Uh, they had to write out notes uh, and then they had to try to get this uh, evidence of revision to me. So the first thing that they should do is they should take out their phone, make sure that they have Adobe Scan uh, downloaded on their phone, uh, click on that, um, and then they want to take an, a high quality image of their their notes um, to take a scan of it. Okay, now the, the, the reason really that you should be using Adobe Scan is because when uh, a room is dimly lit or maybe you're taking a picture quickly uh, on your phone with your camera, the problem that occurs uh, quite often is that the image is really low quality. So what you want to do is use Adobe Scan, scan it, you can see the quality of the image in front of you. You can then click continue. You can then go down to the bottom right hand corner of your phone, click on the new scan that you produced yourself. And then you want to look at the image to make sure that it's it's captured all of the information and you click save PDF if you're satisfied. Okay, this is now going to save the PDF to your phone. Uh, but you, you're kind of halfway there now, you need to go over to uh, another app on your phone, which is Google Drive. Now, Google Drive, all students should have this downloaded on their phone this year. There's a plus option there to upload the scan to your Google Drive, which is what we're doing right now. Uh, that's being uploaded. You want to then go over to the most recent scan of your work and upload that there. And now that this is uploaded to your uh, your your Google Drive, you can then proceed to the Google Classroom on your computer. So I'm going to swap over now to the Google Classroom. So let's have a look here at the assignment. So evidence of revision, there's the details, and you can see here that this assignment is missing. So what I need to do now is I need to add or create, and I'm going to use the Google Drive. Now the default here will go to recent. I'm just going to go to my drive here and find the scan here. So you, uh, the scan here in front of me that I have taken. So you can go to recent or go to my drive, whichever you choose, click on this and click insert. Now, once that has inserted, you can then click the button turn in. Now, once it's turn in, um, if the teacher has, has allowed only one um, in, uh, one like um, we'll say turn it in for this, then uh, then that button will go gray and you won't be able to receive that button, uh, that, that assignment back again. Okay, so I'm going to click turn in, turn in, and let's see, that has been submitted. Now it says it's turned in late, but actually um, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so that is how I would submit it using a phone or iPad. Just make sure you have Adobe Scan and Drive on your phone or, uh, or your iPad ready to go.